When we talk about forensic psychology, we're essentially talking about the application of psychology to issues within the criminal justice system. And one of the earliest intersections between psychology, the law, and the criminal justice system came in 1843 in the trial of Daniel McNaughton. Now, McNaughton was charged with the shooting murder of Edward Drummond, and McNaughton had originally set out to kill Sir Robert Peel, who was a member of the Tory political party. However, he mistakenly killed Peel's secretary, which was Drummond. And when McNaughton was interviewed about the crime, there were some questions that arose in relation to his mental state, and particularly around what his capacity to understand his crime was at the time. And when he was being interviewed, McNaughton stated that the Tories in my native city have compelled me to do this. They follow me and persecute me wherever I go and I and have entirely destroyed my peace of mind. So there appeared to be some evidence that McNaughton was experiencing persecutory or command type delusions at the time of perpetrating the crime. And in the 1840s, the law had really yet to evolve to acknowledge the complexities of an unsound mind or even an insane individual when perpetrating the crime. And at the time, mens rea was really the primary standard for sentencing, and it was assumed that the offender understood what they were doing and also why or the reasons behind their actions. So although we had an idea of essentially culpability and the capacity to understand what you were doing, there really was no clear definition relating to insanity. And consequently, there was really public outrage when the verdict was given that McNaughton was not guilty due to insanity. And this led to the court ultimately establishing what would become known as the McNaughton Rules, which were essentially a set of criteria defining a disease of the mind, which detailed the, the standard for really making a ruling in cases around mental illness or impairment. So essentially the McNaughton Rules became the standard for determining whether a person was sane or of sound mind at the time of committing the crime, which really ultimately considers criminal responsibility and the capacity to understand their wrongdoings in committing the crime.